everybody, welcome to my kitchen again. This is only the third thing I've made in my kitchen and the third video I shot today, but I'm not going outside today because it's like 98 degrees and 2000% humidity here in Chicago. It is July 18th. Welcome to my kitchen. I am all garden jargon and I am sharing with you some recipes that I love to make. Um, the first one I did today was I pickled some cucumbers. Second recipe I made today was two huge portions of pesto sauce. I made fresh from the basil in my garden, and now I'm making one of my favorite, favorite summertime light pasta dishes. Um, we'll call it Michelle Pastellini. I don't care what it's called, it's delicious. I eat it throughout the whole entire summer. Um, basically what it is, is bell peppers that are chopped up and sauteed with bow tie pasta and pesto mixed together and then you top it obviously with some really good um, shredded up cheese so that's what i'm doing i have the peppers going in a pan i have them into big chunks like this they're sauteing up a little bit in some oil i give that a stir got the water boiling I wanted to share too about um, bell peppers. I'm not sure if you know this, but I just learned this in my late 40s, um, the difference in the bell peppers. Did you know that there was a male and a female pepper? I think about that. Like how long ago did you learn that there was a male pepper and a female pepper? I just learned this, mind blowing. But there is a difference in a male pepper and a female pepper. The female pepper is sweeter. So when I shop at the grocery store now, I only purchase bell peppers that are female peppers. They may have a little bit more seeds, but they are sweeter. And the way you can tell the difference in the peppers is by the nodes, the little bumps on the bottom. A male pepper will have three nodes and the female pepper is going to have four nodes. So I chose a red, orange, and yellow pepper from the store because my bell peppers are not mature enough yet to eat. Um, and I chopped them up into big chunks. And I have all the rest of them over here. I know you know what the inside of a pepper looks like, but this is full of seeds. And did you know you could actually pull these seeds off of this, dry them out, and plant them next year and have orange pepper plants? You sure can. That's the beauty of it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm adding chicken today. I've marinated this in the pesto that I made earlier today. Um, I'm gonna fry that up in a pan also because I'm not gonna grill it. I'm not going outside. It's like terrible. It's horribly hot and humid and sticky and nasty. And being in the kitchen all day, being in here cooking with the heat of the flame, it is even hot in here and I've turned the fan off so that you can hear me. So the peppers I'm just gonna uh, cook down. I'm going to saute them until they're a little bit fork tender and um, a little bit soft. And then I'm going to throw that pasta in that water to boil. It's going to take a couple minutes. So I'm going to use my little tool here that I made to hit pause on the recorder. And I'm going to come back when that pasta is done being boiled and I got my chicken fried up from the pan. I'll see you back here in a couple minutes. show you the chicken. Nikki, zip it. Okay, there it is. That is the marinated chicken that I marinated today in the pesto sauce. I threw it in a pan after I cooked up the peppers. The pasta just um, timer went off, but it wasn't finished. I put it on for eight minutes. I don't know how long to make uh, bow tie pasta because I don't make it that often. So I just set the timer and um, that's the stage we're at right now. I just made the peppers, chicken. I don't know if I mentioned that chicken was gonna go in this dish in the first part of the video, but it is because it's delicious. And um, then the boiling bow tie pasta with the yummy cheese. So I'll come back to you in a couple more minutes when that chicken is finished peppers are ready and the bow tie pasta is done and I'll mix it all together and show you the end result. See you soon. One second. My little stick isn't working too
too good. So I'm back and um, the dish is almost finished. So I got the hot pasta. I have it in my container because I'm not gonna dirty up a bunch of dishes. And then I also, um, I throw the peppers back into the pan when the chicken is finished cooking with a little bit of the starchy water from the chick uh, from the pasta that I was cooking because it kind of gets a little bit of the bits and brown bits off the bottom of the pan, which is delicious. So now I'm just going to basically toss this in the pan or in the container with my pasta, scrape all those bits out of there. I also reserve a little bit of the starchy water in a cup um, for seconds because I want to make sure that I have a nice healthy portion and that the pasta doesn't get sticky. But with all the oils that are in the pesto, we're not going to have any problems with anything getting sticky, but it's always good to have it just in case. So the dish is finished. Look at that. Look at that deliciousness. Bowtie pasta, pesto on the chicken, and the bell peppers. Um, so once in a while, if I have a nice sweet onion, I'll saute that up also. What I'm gonna do now is plate it up. Mm. Yeah, I haven't eaten all day. This is gonna be delicious. So I put a bunch of the bowtie pasta in there. This is my pesto that I just made today. So fresh. Get a dollop of that. Big old tablespoon right in the middle of my bowl. Stir that around. Try that on for size. Mm. Smells so yummy. I've already seasoned the peppers as well as the chicken with salt and pepper. And I always add the cheese at the end, and it has a lot of salt in it anyway, so I don't add too much more salt on top of that. Fabulous. And then extra aged Parmesan cheese, freshly shredded, right on the top. Bink! Now my meal's complete. Ta-da! I hope that you enjoy this recipe. It's one of my favorite recipes in the summertime, as I've mentioned many times before. I'm gonna try my stick one last time. And I wanna say thank you very much for hanging out with me today in the kitchen yet again uh, for another recipe. But I will continue to do these little recipes because I have some cheese on my hand. Um, because I love cooking and I love eating stuff that's fresh out of the garden and it's just unfortunate my bell peppers aren't ready yet, but they will be soon, and then I'll make some wonderful stuff then. I hope you have an incredible weekend. Again, July 18th, 2020. This is a bow tie pasta Michelini, and um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Please send me um, some of your favorite recipes that use bell peppers, and I hope I enlightened you with the male and female peppers. Have a good one. Bye-bye.